No Life Jeff, that is my name, what is up guys, and today I am going to be rating my players on a tier list. Original idea. <laughs> so I've had this idea for a while and I've been thinking about it, and um, you know what, what a, what a better day than the present to actually do it. So let's, let's, let's do it. So I have all my players in my club that I have right now, there's 31 players. Um, I have a big club, I know. And we're gonna be ranking them on this tier list here. We have S tier, A tier, B tier, C tier, D tier, and I added E tier, F tier, and F minus tier. And um, let's guess in the comments who you think F minus is gonna be. <laughs> I only made that F minus tier for one person, and um, I'll let you guess who that is. Now I have used a lot of these players because I swapped them around with the stamina and all that stuff. Through the career mode so i think i have a pretty good judgment of all these players obviously i play with my main team more so i'll probably have more input on the main team but i mean the subs i'll still have a pretty good evaluation for them so it's all good so we're gonna start out with alba i used him for a little bit you know it was he was pretty good all right he wasn't outstanding not very memorable so he's gonna go in the b tier i remember i used him because because he had good pace but you know he would glitch down the wings he would you know not be able to tackle sometimes so that's why he's in the B tier. And now we're gonna get into Allison, the hero. He is the hero, what can I say? So I think he deserves an A tier. He's not the best always, so I'm not gonna put him in the S tier. The S tier is for people who are just completely elite, all right? <laughs> but Allison is the hero and he's really good, so I'm putting him in the A tier. Next up, we have Aubameyang. And Aubameyang, I didn't really use all that much. I used him uh, like uh, towards the start of the series because he was one of the, my, my, my first legendary players that I bought. However, he hits a crossbar like too many times, so he's going in the D tier. Never really made any outstanding plays, so he's just gonna stay there. Alright, next up is Bale. Bale I didn't really use too much. I remember I used him down the wing, he was pretty fast. So uh, we're just gonna put him in the C tier. There's definitely gonna be some players where I really can't decide where they go, but honestly I think Bale does, is probably better than Bamiang, but not as good as Alaba. So. We'll put him in the C tier. Next up, we have Cancelo. He was kind of just there. He's kind of just my right back. I don't really use him that much, and he doesn't really see much attention to the ball. So we're just going to put him in the B tier just because he's in my main team. Now we're going to move on to Chiellini. I didn't really use him all that much. I used him for the career mode, but that's about it. I took him out because I want to put Ramos because he had more speed for the online series. So there's, there's not a lot to judge from him. So I'm going to put him in the C tier with Bale because I feel like they, they go hand in hand, basically. Next up, we got Kevin De Bruyne, who is, I think he's the best defender on my team, even though he's a midfielder. <laughs> Kevin De Bruyne takes free kicks, he's really reliable on the field, he defends, and he even scores goals, so he is going to be my first S tier. There we go, Kevin De Bruyne up there with his yellow card next to his name in the S tier. Now we got Ericsson. Ericsson is basically my backup De Bruyne. De Bruyne gets injured, Ericsson will step in. Ericsson is both footed, which makes him useful. However, he's just not the, the overall from De Bruyne. Doesn't have the stats to be De Bruyne. So he's my second De Bruyne. However, I do like him. I've had him for a while and he scored some nice goals. So he's gonna go in the A tier. Next up, we got Griezmann. Now this one, I have to think about. I was thinking either I'm gonna put him in the A tier or the S tier. I'm gonna put him in the A tier just because he's not in the main squad. I use Messi because he's higher overall even though I don't even know if Messi's gonna be in the S tier, I haven't decided. I usually sub on Griezmann towards the end of the online game to try to get that final goal and clutch the win, and he's done that for a while, but he's just not in the main squad. I might put him in the main squad, but you know what, I'd, I'd say he's A+, almost S tier for Griezmann. Next up, we got Hazard. Hazard's on the main squad. He's, he does really well, although I don't, he doesn't really see the ball that much. His long shots are very good and he is very useful for the team, but he's just not enough to be an S tier, so I'm gonna put him in the A tier as well. Next, we got Koulibaly. I don't think I've ever used this guy. <laughs> I think I wanted to use him as a legendary coach, but like I just never got to it and he just ended up getting maxed and I was like, okay, now I can't make you legendary coach now. Um, so he kind, of, he kind of just sits there. I think I used him for a couple games in the career mode when I first got him because I got him for a reason, obviously. But uh, for that reason, I'm just gonna put him in the D tier because um, I just... I don't know, I don't, there's not really a lot to go with. As for Tony Cruz, he was one of my first legendary players and I really liked using him, uh, but it's just, I stopped using him because I got better midfielders. So uh, I'm gonna put him in the C tier with Bale and Chiellini. I feel like they all just, actually you know what, I'm gonna put him in B tier, okay? B tier because I feel like he, he goes along more with Alaba and Cancelo than Bale and Chiellini. He's just a little bit better. Next we got Ladin, my boy. 
for all the times I want to put him in the S tier just because of how good he was at the beginning. He is common, and um, for all those common challenges I did in the post elite division, he didn't really perform that well. So I'm going to put him in the E tier. I'm sorry, Ladin. I really wanted to put you in the S tier, and the reason why I kept you is because you're really good. And but you know what? Everyone else just caught up to you. And if I'm gonna compare you against everybody else here, you're gonna have to go to the E tier. Next, we got Mbappe. I don't really use him that much just because there's so many good forwards, and he's like not both footed. There's Neymar and Ronaldo who are already good, and then we have like left footed shots with Messi and Salah, so Mbappe kind of just goes down the list for all the forwards, plus he's a right footed shot, so he'll only really play on the left. So I never really used him, but I mean he is really good, so I feel like he'll go in the B tier along with Cruz, Cancelo, and Alaba, so uh, yeah. Next we got Mertens, he is the captain of my team, and he really helped me out through the beginning divisions, but like I said, everyone caught up to him, so um, I, you know, I think I'm gonna put him in the B tier because, you know, I feel like that's just where those types of players are and I feel like the B tier is going to be filling up pretty nicely. <laughs> Next up we got Messi. Am I going to put him in the S tier? No. <laughs> For some reason I just can't score with Messi. As of recently I've had like a little bit of success with Messi so but for now I'm going to stick him in the A tier because he is in the main squad. He does help out. It's just I don't think he's good enough for the S tier. Next up we got Modric. Modric, I believe he's going to go in the A tier as well. Modric is on the main squad, does well defending, does well creating the chances, does well keeping possession. He, I feel like he's in the same boat as Hazard, so uh, we're just going to put him in the A tier. Next up, we got Neymar, and uh, I really want to put him in the S tier, okay? I really did, but it just, it just doesn't seem right, okay? It just doesn't seem right. I mean, I feel like uh, Neymar is where, where Griezmann is with an A-plus tier. Just couldn't put him in the S tier. He's both-footed. He's a great attacker. He scores a decent amount of goals. It's just he doesn't score as many goals. I just don't feel as he is memorable, and I don't feel like I, I need to rely on him when I play online. I can easily replace him with an Mbappe or with a Griezmann, and it'll be fine. So, uh, for that reason, I'm going to put him in the A tier. Next up, we got Old Black. O Black, I'm going to stick him straight in the E tier. I don't think he was ever a good goalkeeper, like, at all. For all the times I used O Black, I don't remember any times where he was actually a good goalkeeper, so I'm going to stick him with Ladin in the E tier. As for PK, it's a toss-up between the D and the E tier. Uh, I really never really... I don't think I've ever used PK. I feel like I just put him as a sub or whatever. So, you know, okay, you know I'll put him in the, in the D tier because he's in the same boat as Koulibaly here. So, uh, yeah. Next up, we got Pugba. Now, that's a toss-up between the A and the B tier. I really want to put him in the A tier, so I think I will. The midfielders get tired the most out of the game, so I usually put him in every single game, sub him in every single game for either Hazard, De Bruyne, or Modric. He does really well. He passes well. He's tall, so it really works out. Honestly, I, I would probably put Pugba in the main squad. I'd probably sub him out for Modric or whatever, but, you know, Modric is there. We'll put on Pogba as a sub. He still gets to play. It's fine. So we got Ramos here. He's got 99 pace. He catches up to defenders a decent amount. Obviously, he's not perfect because defenders are never perfect. So I'm going to put him in the C tier. Not because I never really played with him, just because I feel like he belongs in the C tier. <laughs> I'll be surprised if there's any defenders in the S or the A tier. Like, come on. Next, we got Ronaldo, and I'm pretty sure you all can guess where he's going. He's going straight to the S tier, no question. Ronaldo's turnaround shots, Ronaldo's normal shots are just so good. He even wins headers. He's the perfect center forward, and if you don't have Ronaldo as your center forward, you're missing out. He's just, he's honestly the best. I rely on Ronaldo to score the goals, and he's just, he, he's S plus tier, okay? He's, he's definitely my, my, the best player out of everybody. He's both footed, so you can turn around shot left, or you can turn, a shot, turn around shot right, which is so useful, which makes him even better. As for Salah, I believe he's just the, the counterpart to Mbappe. Salah and Mbappe kind of go together. Mbappe is the right footed replacement, and Salah is the left footed replacement to the, the, the players up front. So he's gonna go in the B tier. He hasn't really done anything super spectacular, so yeah, he's just gonna go in the B tier. Next, we got Thiago Silva. He's going to go along with uh, Alaba Cancelo in the B tier. I feel like Silva was more like a Cancelo. I mean, he was in the main team. I replaced him because there's four in the back now. He didn't really cause any problems for me. I don't remember him being that bad, so he's going to go in the B tier. Now we're moving on to Sterling. He's gonna also going to go in the B tier. I remember using him for quite a while 
and I remember him not really, you know, being that bad. <laughs> he's not gonna go in the A tier because he's not one of the starters or one of that that got subbed on. He kind of just got lost in my team, like Mbappe and Salah. But you know what? I feel like he's in the same boat. He's really good. I would use him if I just didn't have better players. <laughs> Next up, we got Suarez. I think he's going to go, I would say either, no, I'd say he'd go with Aubameyang. He'd go in the D tier. I used him in the career mode. He didn't do that well. I mean, he did redeem himself a little bit as it was going on, but I was, you know, I got better players. And uh, yeah, he's just going to go in the D tier. As for Traore, he is going to go with in the E tier along with Ladin and Oblak. Yes, they are common, so they're not as good as everyone else, so... There he's, he's gonna go in the E tier. I bought Traore because I thought the potential would be a little bit higher. I wasn't really thinking. And I thought by the time I got him maxed, I wouldn't have that many legendary players. So he'd be a good budget card. But by the time I got him maxed, I had so many other players maxed and so many legendary players that Traore didn't even seem useful. Now that I look at the last three players, I don't think I'm gonna use the F tier. So I might've just went from E to F minus, but whatever. Next up, we got Trent Alexander-Arnold. He's, he's like, I'd, I'd say he's like Cancelo, you know, he's on the team, he does well, he doesn't seem to be like too bad, okay, so he's just gonna go in the B tier. Now we got Van Dyke. he's either gonna go in the B or the C tier, I don't want to put any defenders in the A tier, even, and I don't think Van Dyke even deserves that. And now we got the final player, Varane, and I guess it kind of got it easy for you guys who was gonna go in the F minus tier, because no one's gotten there yet, and this is the last player, and I said there was gonna be someone. Varane's going to go in the F- minus tier just because of the situation. <laughs> Varane has 100 pace, okay, and maybe he's just in the wrong place in the wrong time every single time I use him, but he doesn't seem to be able to run. He glitches all the time. It's crazy. The amount of times I yell, Varane, stop glitching, run faster, or just defend is kind of crazy. <laughs> so I think he belongs in the F- minus tier. I mean, before last video, I'd probably put him in the, the D tier, maybe the C tier. And then I would just get rid of the F and the F minus tier. You know, I just, there's no one in the F tier, but you know, I just want to put the F minus there just to show up Varane, okay? Be better. So that is my tier list right there. I know probably a lot of you guys probably feel different about your players, but it's, it's all good. I know what you guys are saying. It's the guy controlling the players, not the actual players that, you know, make you good. But you know what? That's just, it's all, it's all fun, okay? We're just, this is just me rating my players. It's for a video, okay? Obviously. I'm not blaming my players because I'm bad at this game, okay? But it, it's fun to just see who you like playing with and who performs for you somehow. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you want me to do more tier list videos like this, leave a like. Subscribe to the channel for Dream League Soccer so you can watch me play with these guys and watch De Bruyne and Ronaldo shine. <laughs> and let me know if you want me to revisit this maybe a year from now or do this as a yearly thing because there's going to be a yearly Dream League Soccer, I'd say. So uh, let me know as well. But anyways, guys, hope you guys enjoyed. Like, subscribe, turn on notifications. But uh, anyway, I'll see you guys in the next video.